Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of RC Tools. Um, first of all, Happy New Year to you all. Uh, starting off a new year in 2019. Hope you guys uh, had a great holiday. Uh, let's get started. You know, one perplexing problem, <laughs> and I, I definitely consider this a problem, is I have a tough time when I see a set of plans for an airplane I might want to buy. I just go ahead and buy them, whether I'm going to build it or not. And I know we're all guilty of this to some degree. Um, or a lot of us are, not everyone. But uh, but definitely, uh, you know, those of us who really enjoy model airplanes tend to hoard plans that we'll probably never build. But that's okay, because, you know, that's kind of part of the hobby. But look, I, I want to give credit where credit's due here. A friend of mine's wife turned us on to this device you're seeing in front of, of, of the, on the screen here. This is called a um, wrapping paper storage unit, okay? And they're 40 inches tall. There's two different sizes you can buy of these, okay? There's like a 30 inch, which is too small for our plant, most of our plants. And then there's a 40 inch one. You want to get the 40 inch one, okay? This particular one you're seeing here uh, came from Walmart and they sell it, sell it in a two pack. So you get two of these for $40. Now, if you look up to the left of the top of this thing, you can see my plans hanging in that uh, PVC pipe rack that I made some years ago. And there's quite a few of them in there. So, my goal today is to organize those those plans and uh, put them into these uh, these these storage containers where they'll be safe. And I'm going to actually mark them as to what they are, okay, and show you an easy way to do that. But uh, let's get started, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so uh, we're back, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to store these. So here's the typical plan set I have. This is Jerry Bates Curtis Robin. Beautiful airplane, by the way. And uh, I'm going to give my buddy Gorin a, uh, a plug. If you haven't checked out his thread on building this model, he's actually building the third scale one. This is quarter scale plans, but uh, be sure to check out his thread. Um, so you need a few things here. You need some paper. You need scissors, a Sharpie, and some small rubber bands. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark each one of the plans and have it where when they're in the container, the top of the plan will tell us what it is. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sheet of this paper, fold it over in half, right? Cut it down the middle. I don't have to cut line. You can use the whole sheet if you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just using half a sheet. And then I'm just going to write on here. Bates. Curtis. Robin. Okay. And I'm going to take a small rubber band. Not a good size. And, and I'm basically going to just wrap this around the end of the plan like this. And then put a rubber band on it. And that's it. Now, when I put it into the container, this will be the top, and this other end will be the bottom, and they'll be listed. So let me go ahead and do this, and I'll show you the end result of it. We'll be right back. Hi, folks, and welcome back. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I've got one of them full. Um, 
I believe I was able to get in like 12 sets of plans into the container. Uh, one thing you want to do is don't stuff it really, really, really tight because uh, as you can see, the top of the container angles in as it goes up. So you have to contend with, with that once you're trying to get it on. But So I'd take one out. But uh, also, as you can see in my rack, I made a pretty good dent in it. So this is, this is kind of nice. I like this, and I wanted to pass this on to you. And uh, thanks to Chris Cunningham for this uh, tip and his wife, Nancy. They, they actually... Uh, stumbled on this and it's a great tip and it's a great way to store plans uh, it keeps them out of the moisture um you know and and the dust of your shop keeps them protected so uh so check it out i'll put a link to the uh online the walmart website page that has these and i'm sure you can find these other places if you're in another country I'm, i have no doubt in my mind that you can find them and they're probably pretty cheap right now because uh since the holidays are over people are trying to get rid of them or stores are trying to get rid of them so uh so anyway i'll link it up and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another rc tools video in the near future take care